and what a special night it was. Joey Decord picking up his first career NHL win and one of the most memorable interviews you'll ever see, yeah. not only this season, but ever in the history of hockey. And it's such a pleasure to welcome Joey Decord to our show, NHL Now, right now. Joey, congratulations on that win a couple of nights ago. Uh, you said in that interview that you were kind of at a loss for words. Now that you've had a couple hours to, to sleep on it, what, what are those words that come to mind when you think about what, what took place that night? <laughs> well, if I'm being totally honest, I haven't gotten too much sleep. So, <laughs> um, you know, it's been a whirlwind a uh, couple of days here. And um, yeah, just uh, to reiterate what I said in the interview, it was just an incredibly special night. And um, obviously, uh, uh, a unique situation. I think that's the first time that's ever happened to me where uh, I found out so late that I was going to be starting. And um, yeah, just a, a really special night, special game, huge win for our group, too. Like, um, really incredible win and, and uh, yeah, great, great win on home ice. And uh, I think the hardest part was, you know, my phone was going crazy and it was, I couldn't get much sleep. And uh, the next day we played, we played again. So, um, you know, I had to shut the phone off and some people probably are upset. I ignored them, but <laughs> I'll get to them eventually. I uh, yeah, just had to refocus and, and, uh, and, and get ready for the hockey game. The man's got a job to do, That's right? right? Like, shut it down. He's busy. Exactly. Hey, uh, Joey, for the viewers who don't know the circumstances of how you ended up starting that night, go through that day and the warm-up and how things played out, because I'm not sure all the viewers understand exactly what you mean by how you ended up starting and finding out so late. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, I was slated to back up. Uh, Murray was supposed to play, Matt Murray, and um, – yeah, I think, you know, he just had an issue and, and uh, literally two minutes before warmups, I found out uh, from him that, that he didn't know if he was, he was, uh, could be able to play and um, just told me to be ready. And he said he'd be able to tell me pretty early on in warmups. And I think during the second drill in, in warmups, he, he kind of just, uh, he gave me a little head nod and skated off the ice. And I got the point from one of the trainers and, um, you know, for, for me, it, it's just like a, a switch flipped right away. And, um, said, hey, no one cares. You got to find a way to, to win a hockey game and, and play your best. And, um, yeah, I was fortunate enough to to, to get a win, and, and our group, uh, like I said, played played so well and, and really helped me out. And oh, right on the fire. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah. A special win. Yeah, and a, a special interview after, of course, you're kind of, you know, processing everything <laughs> in this moment, but going back in time, thanking all the people that, you know, led you to that specific moment. And, and you specifically mentioned your, your mom and dad, and I assume at that point you hadn't talked to them. Uh, what was that conversation like uh, for you after the game? Those weren't one of those people that you, you hung up the phone and <laughs> didn't call them back, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, they heard from me. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember my, my brother was actually home from college, my brother Big Al, uh, and uh, which is funny because, like, usually he'll go home sometimes, like, if I'm playing uh, and watch the game with my family, but uh, I'm not sure why he was home that night because I, I wasn't supposed to play. So, um, yeah, he was home, so I got on the phone with them, and, and we were all just laughing. Uh, just, it was like, when you put it in perspective and um, – <laughs> the, the road it's 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 been and the journey it's been and and how long it's taken and, and the role that they've played in my life um yeah it's pretty incredible and and we just couldn't stop laughing we thought it was so funny um and just just the the happiness and and the laughter and the enjoyment of it um we were all truly grateful that I, i'm just getting the opportunity to play and um to beat the leafs first place first place leafs uh, at home and uh, yeah, it was it was a uh, yeah pretty pretty special moment uh, to share that with them. Joey, if there's a goaltending family in this world, I think it's yours because uh, your dad uh, was a goaltender and is is a goaltending instructor and was and now is working actually for the Arizona Coyotes as a special assistant to the general manager. Your brother, you mentioned Big Al, he's a goaltender and playing college hockey and uh, and obviously you're at the National Hockey League level now after spending three years at Arizona State University. So that's kind of a different path for a guy from Massachusetts. What's it like? Around Around your house when you you guys must be talking goaltending all the time <laughs> well i think these days in the summer uh we're talking golf mostly nowadays <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah we we've, we've the three of us especially have gotten into golf uh pretty big into golf the last couple summers but yeah we're 
uh, you know, him and I skate together with my dad in the summer and, um, we, we have a special relationship off the ice, but then when you throw the fact that we're all goalies, he's our coach, uh, it's, it's a pretty unique situation and, and we just enjoy it. And I'm incredibly grateful to have, uh, you know, my dad in my life and my brother too, like, uh, to have him as a goalie as well. I'm, I'm actually grabbing him a set of gear right now for his senior year of school. So we'll get them all hooked up. Um, he, he wants the same stuff as me, so I'm going to get them all set up with some gear. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty special to have that relationship with them. I mean, where does your mom fit into all this? I mean, is she a goaltender too? I mean, what's going on? Well, you know, it's funny. My mom, my mom's actually from Switzerland and, and she was never really much of a, a sports person, uh, per se. Um, and now she's actually, I think the biggest hockey person out of all of us. She, she's got her phone out. She's always looking everybody up. Uh, she knows all the stats, all the, all the goalies, how everyone's doing. She knows more than all of us about, about what's going on around the NHL and, and uh yeah we we love it because she's so into it and she's um uh, my mom's the best she's an incredible person and uh i i really look up to her and 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 who she is as a person and um it's uh it's it's awesome to have her in my life mama decor dialed in and maybe, maybe gonna take one of our jobs here at the NFL I know, yeah. with how dialed <laughs> in special she assistant is. here <laughs> exactly yeah. you never know uh ej kind of touched on your your path and maybe the unconventional hockey path so to speak uh why choose arizona state um kind of a startup program at the time when they went d1 but clearly it's worked out for you what, what was it like and how big of a risk was it in your opinion to to kind of leave massachusetts and head out there I don't think I realized how much of a risk it was <laughs> before I did it. And then now when I look back, I'm like, ah, yeah, that was kind of a leap of faith. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I went out there and um, went on my visit and met with Coach Powers. And it's, it's truly an incredible uh, place. And um, yeah, I just bonded pretty quickly with Coach Powers. And, and I was really, the thing I, I, I was most looking forward to was, was the opportunity. Um, and, and he, Coach Powers told me, he said, hey, you're going to have a chance to, to be our starting goalie and, and you're going to have a chance to put this program on the map and build this program from the ground up. And, yeah, you know, we want you to be our backbone. And, and like that, I was sold. And I, I really just bet on myself um, and, and believed that I could go down there and help that program um, become what we all knew it could be and, and will continue to be. And, uh, I'm so proud that I, I was a Sun Devil, and, and I'll be a Sun Devil for life. Hey, it's always good to bet on yourself in life, and uh, obviously it's paying off for you. You were the first Arizona State player, in fact, to sign a pro contract, so it has actually worked out well. I want to go back a couple of years, though, because you've been playing in the minors a little bit. Now you've had a chance this year to play in the National Hockey League, but when you first signed that pro contract, the Senators threw you into a game against the Buffalo Sabres. I believe it was in March of 2019. What was that experience like for you? Because you signed this contract and boom, here you are playing in the National Hockey League. What was that first game like? The first game was insane when I think about it now. Um, because now I feel so much more prepared uh, to play at this level and, and so much more experienced, even though it's only you know a year of pro hockey later. Um, but I feel so much more prepared. And now when I look back, I'm like, man, you know, I was, I was a crazy person for thinking I could do that. But I think when I look back, I'm like, Hey, I, I, I know we lost that game, but I thought I played really well. And, um, yeah, I, I, I never for a second doubted that I, it wouldn't go well and that, um, I couldn't do it. And, um, when I look back that game, that game was huge for me because first off, like you see a lot of guys, they come into pro hockey and it's years and years and years before they get their first NHL game. Um, and for me, it's like, I just got that out of the way. And now I could focus on becoming the best hockey player I could be. Um, so that when I made it back to the NHL, I'd be the most prepared to have success. Um, and then on the other hand, just playing out of college was uh, really special and support from ASU and be the first player to ever play in the NHL at ASU was so cool. Um, yeah, I'll never forget that night.
All right, take us on the ice in practice and what it's like to face uh, Tim Stutzla, of course, a high-end <laughs> pick. And we saw that goal, that assist he made to Drake Batherson the other night on the power play, the backhanded sauce right on the tape. You get to face this guy on a daily basis in practice. How good is he and what, is, what are his hands like? Oh, he's incredible. Yeah, he's uh, such a skilled hockey player, so much talent. And uh, I think even, you know, even more impressive than, than his talent and his skill is just – um how great he is as a person too he's such an awesome guy in the in the dressing room and um you know we we all love him we all embraced him right away and, um we, we got a lot of good camaraderie in that room we got a lot of great guys and a lot of really good people and uh yeah he's just another one of them and uh it, in terms of practice it's great to to play against guys like that every day because it makes you better we we push each other to to, to make each other better and hey I'm not going to let them score on me without without putting up a fight and um, that's how we push each other and make each other better every day. Love it. Love your uh, believability in yourself and clearly yeah. it's paid off. Can't thank you enough uh, for the time. It was going to be hard to recreate that uh, post game interview oh, yeah. but I think you're one of the most likable likable guys that we have in the game today and you've certainly made a lot more Joey Decord fans and a lot more Ottawa Senator yep. fans out there for your performance over the last couple of days. So thank you very much Joey. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm uh, I'm pretty good at fooling everybody. <laughs> <laughs> make it till you make it. That's the goal in TV and in yeah, life. So you're doing yeah. a heck of a good job. Good luck. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it.